Hello, everybody. It is January 10th, 2021. I am Erica. This is Nicole. Hey. We've been doing this weekly chat since the beginning of COVID-19 lockdowns. And here we are into uh, the first week of January. Completed. Yeah. Completed. And uh, we're just gonna kick it off by saying, uh, if uh, if you go back to last week's episode, uh, I predicted the um, the uh, unrest in in Washington D.C. on Wednesday. So if I knew something was gonna happen, why why didn't uh, more security know what was gonna happen? That's the big question. And I throw it to you, Nicole, in Madrid. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, if there's any indication of how this year is going to go, based on the fact that we had like a uh, attempt of overthrow, a coup d'etat, not to mention, um, I had a blizzard here in Madrid, where I am right now, blizzard, 16 inches of snow yesterday. Last time it snowed was in 1971. So if we... If this is any indication between the politics and the weather, this might be the last year we live. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and let's just try to keep laughing our way through it yeah. because, uh, um, yeah, it's been a really tough week. And um, um, as we speak, as far as I, I know, I think Central Park, there is some anti um I don't know if it's a clash between anti-fascist uh, groups and Trump supporters or what, but something's going on in the city right now. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, have to see the humor in all this for the week. Well, there is no humor in that. Uh, Nicole Maliotakis's office is a, a, a few blocks away from my apartment, and there was a uh, protest outside her office yesterday, and uh, there's continued protests today, and that's what's going on. Yeah, uh, We're being safe, locked in our houses, and watching uh, lots and lots of Netflix. So <laughs> I'm still on my... Uh, British tour <laughs> and you told me you were going to finish Cobra Kai so let me know what you think okay. what, you th you, what your thoughts you of course finished it before me I was watching like two episodes a night so I was getting a good a good feel there hated season two so I wasn't expecting much for this season right I thought it was fucking hilarious I mean I laughed so hard I mean, Eduardo talks throughout the whole thing and like the writing is so bad. The writing is so bad. Like the comments they make and stuff. But at the same time, it's like, you're, you're really watching this show. You're not watching this show because you want good writing. You're watching the show because it's, it's like nostalgia. That's it. Or, or good acting. <laughs> you're not looking for good no, acting. Okay. So you're watching it for the nostalgia point, right? And it, it totally gave you all of that for season yeah, two. The writing is so bad. It's <laughs> unbelievable. But I do like no one would have that conversation. Like it's yeah. just I, I kept saying it's almost like they paused 1985 <laughs> and then they think like these people's lives never nothing happened between there and now. Like the yeah. things they say, although that's what made it funny, I thought. Yeah, it was so bad it was good. Uh, that's you didn't, that's you didn't laugh at a lot of it. I was like, I'm Oh, I was cracking up the whole time, but it was like ridiculous. Um, I mean, the best things were hit, uh, the, the blonde guys, Johnny, yeah. his just it, like no in uh computer knowledge whatsoever. Is that your door? My doorbell just, my doorbell just rang. I, it's probably not for me, Do but let me wait, let me check. I might. I think so it's sunday yeah amazon comes on sundays i think it's for upstairs okay sorry um, or, okay sorry yeah. i'm back Johnny, the blonde guy get back to that what were you saying 
um, just his uh, like not knowing about Facebook, like, oh, and I send this message, how long is it going to take to get there? And yeah, just all that kind of stuff. That was like my favorite. Oh, and his photo when he found the old photos. Of, oh, my God. That's the part like, I wanted to bring up. Wait, wait, wait. Can I say this? So yeah. he's going through the pictures of himself, thinking of what to put on his profile, his page. And when the kid, Miguel, is trying to help him with it, he's like, those photos make me look ridiculous. And I was like, as opposed to the ones of you, like on a Teen Beat magazine cover, like with suspenders and muscles and like a mullet. <laughs> That's not ridiculous. I laughed so hard. That and the part where, I mean, the kid's in a, in a fucking coma, then he can't walk. And then he dangles a 1987 babes of the month babes of the year magazine and that's supposed to make him like start tap dancing it was hilarious it, and it not was... to mention that part where he said he's talking about the magazine i laughed so hard when he's like well i got a vanna white playboy edition i'm like vanna white like these references are it is. It's like they, he was in a time warp or, or in a time capsule and he just like got out. It's like, yeah, I guess that was how they kept, were able to just keep tying it back to the, the movie. Um, it was just ridiculous. It was, it was. But I did enjoy Twisted Sister. I did enjoy yeah. Dick Snyder's cameo. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was just ridiculous. Um, which, by the way, he was also, can you name, here's a little trivia for you. Okay. Another movie that Dee Snyder makes a cameo in. Or Twisted Sister. Yes. Oh, shit. Is John Candy in the movie? You're overthinking because... Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure at the very end when he's going through the sets and, and yep. they're, they're filming a video. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> but anyway, yep. I, got a, I, got a, I pictured it. I got a huge laugh and, and Eduardo kept going, God, these people must have no work. They, the way they got everybody from Karate Kid Part 2, Karate Kid, now they're going to introduce Karate Kid Part 3, that guy, he's going to be in the next one. <laughs> They must have been like, shit, really? You need me to be in this thing? All right. Like, how much are you going to pay me? I like the um, the guy who became the preacher and then he shows up during his service. And <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so... My favorite character, though, was um, the sensei, John Priest. The bad, you know, the bad guy, that, you know, from part you liked him i thought he was hilarious i'm like this guy wears a wears a black karate suit at night uh, off hours he's just always walking around like ready to fight and he's got such an ass face like he's ready yeah. to just, i think it's hilarious i was rooting for him the whole time uh, <laughs> like i hope he kicked daniel's wife's ass yeah she's the worst the wife is the worst <laughs> um yeah anyway it was funny i, I got uh, a kick out of it yeah, it was good. Um, what else did we watch? I, um, I'm one episode almost done with Bridgerton, which- Is that another British thing? He, yeah, but it's kind of this, I, I was kind of avoiding it. I watched like the first episode and I, I kind of walked away from it, watched something else. And then I, I, I'm almost done with it now. It got a little bit better. It's- it's like, I like the shows that are my British um, stuff that's uh, historically based. Either that or I also uh, was watching this show I, I told you about um, Keeping Up Appearances, which is hilarious. It was from the 90s. And then there is also Are You Being Served? Do you remember that show? That sounds familiar. That was on for a long time are you being served it's like these guys are all working in a department store it's just like that slapstick kind of benny hill okay yeah it's just really ridiculous but um are you uh, keeping up appearances is really funny um but it's like an old old british show um and, and this bridgerton thing is uh like kind of that shonda rhimes 
uh, directed it or produced it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like this fresh perspective on these old stories. I think I don't really know a whole lot about it, but it's, it's also like gossip girl meets, um, what's that show on BBC that everybody loves that it's not a comedy. It's like, um, like a soap opera kind of a show. Do you know what it's called? It's like an old thing, is it old? No, it's like currently- oh, It's not like East Enders or something like one of those. No, but it's it's like currently on, it's like the name of something. And I feel like everybody loves watching it. It's like a big I show. I thought the title, I'd probably recognize it, but- So it's like that meets Gossip Girl because it's very Gossip Girl-y, like the costumes and the outfits are very bright and like it's kind of a big, mm -hmm. like the, the costumes are, are kind of like a big part of it, I, I think. I, I love, like, it's very, like, everybody's wearing really bright colors. It's, like, not really realistic. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That seems um, like a British thing, though, doesn't it? I mean, it goes, it's, like, 1800s. Oh, okay. So it's, and everybody's in these bright, vibrant colors, and um, it's almost, like, a little, like, ridiculous. It's cool, though. I think it's, um, it's interesting. Uh... I also got back into Howard because, um, you know, I was, I was considered, cause I haven't, I've listened to him on and off for the past year. It really like my listening has dwindled down because I don't have access to it. And I, I keep saying like, maybe I should just get a um, serious subscription or whatever. So I looked into it and I'm like, I can't, I can't get that here. So, um, but any, anything that I've, found from him for the like his most recent things I've been listening to his most recent shows so how do you get it you like you can just illegally download it no, or? Yeah, no. I go on YouTube some, some, I, sometimes people put a whole but there were a few from like his very last of 2020 yeah I think uh, Ronnie's watched some of those clips and I'm like listening to it and he goes oh I'm just watching these YouTube clips but we have the subscription and um, I'll be, didn't we already listen to that? He's like, yeah, but here's the video. Yeah. Because people will put the video up. Um, what was he talking? Yeah, I'm interested to see what he says tomorrow. He's going to lose his, he's going to lose his. Oh, yeah. Prop. I was, I was waiting for that too. Yeah, I always want to know what other people are going to. Are you going to watch this 60 minute thing? Um, tonight, Nancy Pelosi is going to be on 60 minutes. Well, another perspective. You know what that's what she's gonna say. But, you know. Yeah, I don't. I mean, uh. but anyway, yeah. So you've got the political upheaval. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't. I feel like I don't have a lot to say. I'm. I'm. I also feel like I'm. I'm. You know, you get me talking about this, I get like just beyond mad. Well, I was going to say, it's like we're on lockdown again. Don't you feel like you're, we're on lockdown again? Forget COVID. But because, yeah. one, because of the political stuff. And two, we were told by the mayor yesterday not to leave our houses. I don't think I told you this. I was waiting to tell you today. Um, everything's canceled until Wednesday. Here. Like nothing's open. Um, I don't have, I was supposed to go back to work tomorrow for exams and all that stuff. All schools, every school and university is closed until Wednesday. Because you guys don't know how to handle snow. I'm not kidding around with you, but okay, the snow stopped yesterday around four in the afternoon after having snowed for over 24 hours straight. There are like a few plows in the whole city. So obviously you can't get there anywhere. And the mayor comes on like nobody leave, nobody go anywhere unless they have to because they can't even get the ambulances down the road, Scott forbid somebody calls. So make a long story short, today the bell's ringing. I answered the door. I answered the, the phone and uh, I could, I already heard someone talking, which means they were like pushing every button in the building. And I hear this woman like yelling, well, can't someone come down here and help us clean um, the area in front of the garage? You know, we have the cars in the garage under the building. They have the door permanently open because they're afraid that the that the electricity might go out. So they have it open, but it's all iced. Last night was like zero degrees. Everything, 
imagine this would never happen in New York, of course, because New York's equipped. But the, I'm looking outside right now. The streets, it's no, never cleaned, no salt. Imagine that it snows 16 inches and no one cleans. Do you remember that year that that did happen here? Um, it was right after Christmas. I, I'm going to say Ronnie just moved. It was like 2010 or 11. No, okay, so I can't. Well, I wasn't living there, but 11 or 12. Yeah. And uh, um, um, Bloomberg, right, was mayor, and he was like on a vacation, and they didn't get the the trucks out early enough. I remember people were um, cross country skiing yeah. down the street because people couldn't drive down the streets. Now that wasn't Manhattan, that was out in Brooklyn where I, yeah. it was in Park Slope. And I know there were other parts of the city that did get plowed, but we couldn't, it was, it, I now that was crazy because that's something that would happen out in the country or something. And the, the fact that the, the city that they, they, I wouldn't even say that. I think it's a state by state thing because New York state in general is very well equipped because it snows there. Yeah, there. Well, well, upstate New York is just better at handling snow because they get it more often. They get it. Yeah. Um, they, I just can't believe, I mean, the city, they just, they didn't pull the, get out there with the, you know, because they have the trucks and everything. They, they use the uh, uh, garbage trucks. Yeah. Well, that's another thing. I'm like, the garbage is piling up on top of all this too. So everything's closed down. And today I'm watching people attempt to clean their cars off and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> and Eduardo gets mad because I always point this out. I'm like, are people stupid? When it snows like this, you have to clean it. You don't wait for the whole thing to stop. Otherwise you're left with this much and it's all iced. You have to kind of go out every once in a while and brush things off. He's like, well, people don't know. I'm like, I don't care that it doesn't snow here. Did anyone go to school and learn that water freezes oh. at zero oh, Nicole, come on <laughs> you're expecting too much of people the woman asking for people to help clean out the thing i'm like it's it's all ice now you should have done that yesterday when it stopped snowing so i'm looking at the window there they've all got brooms because don't forget no one here owns a shovel why would they own a shovel a snow shovel they're out there. And Eduardo's like, maybe I will go down there and help them clean. I'm like, using what? He goes, a hammer. I'm like, what are you going to do? Bang the ice and chisel it away? I'm like, what? What are you going to hit that? I mean, it's not about like people who are going to break up ice. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So, but, so overnight it froze up? It froze. I'm not, we're not allowed to use our elevators either because there are loads of trees down everywhere that have fallen on top of cables and don't, and they can't get, they can't get emergency vehicles down there. I'm looking out the road. It hasn't snowed in 24 hours and it looks like it, it all froze and it's supposed to be, you know, don't forget Madrid is a city. It never goes below 45 degrees here. It's been like 32 degrees here. And it's going to continue to be that way the next three days. It's a fucking apocalypse here. So now we're on lockdown, but for a totally different reason. Gosh, I would love to see some, um, I know this is terrible to think this, but I would love to see some um, snow photos of some of the murals like around. Um, Lava Pia. Uh, yeah, because I love like seeing snow photos with because you know like in New York it's like oh you know what time of year it is when it's you know you get out uh, and get some snow photos, um, but they're they're definitely I mean that's going to be a rare sight uh, to see Madrid. I saw a friend of mine posted. I guess somebody in Madrid was, uh, you know, showing the snow like how crazy it is, and one of their um, their pieces of art was on the wall, so that she reposted it. And that's how I knew that you guys got the snow before you told me. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's- It was something. That's very rare. <laughs> rare, I mean- and I, and I said to you before we got on this call, if if the world wasn't falling apart in other, or I, listen, we're not the center of the universe here, uh, you know, um, Americans, although they think they are. Not well, I mean- <laughs> It, it is a big deal. It is a big deal. Yeah, you're right. But um, if this wasn't going on this week, I think the snow in Madrid would be a, a really big story here, even. Um, My brother Nick said he saw it on TV, like they were talking about oh. Philomena. It's called Phil, 
storm Philomena. So I, I don't know. I mean, it's just weird. It's really weird, but it was fun because we went out and it was good packing snow too. And I'm telling my mother and she's like, you're acting like you've never seen the snow. And I was like, I've lived here for 12 years. I haven't seen it in 12 years. I mean, one time that I was home, I think it was 2012, it snowed pretty bad. Maybe that's the storm you're talking about because I was there at Christmas time. Oh, were you? And maybe yeah. that's why I couldn't get up because you were up at your mom's? I was at my, at my mom's. Violetta was like a baby. It was 2011. Oh, that was the year that, um, remember we all got together at New Year's? Was that, that, that? that? You're right. That was 2011. It wasn't that. It was 2013 that it snowed because Violetta was like two, two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. It, and we have pictures of it, her, like, in its oh, most it's like, so much fun. He hasn't seen it, really. So I was like, well, you know, I haven't seen snow in a long time, let alone, like, a blizzard. But it's funny to watch people not, I mean, there are people our age who never saw snow that are from here. Yeah. They just don't know how to, it's like, again, do you not know how to behave in the fucking snow? It's kind of cute. I remember when um, I was in college, there was, it was a big snowstorm and you know we had like a, a friend of mine was from california and she really she went and bought a snowsuit she was like she was freaking out like she, it was it was like hilarious we all laughed at her it was it was adorable <laughs> <laughs> you must not be a local <laughs> <laughs> all right um all right so, well yeah, it's you can definitely rough. expect more material to unwrap. Hey, you, want to, you want to make a prediction for this week? That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm definitely predicting this week to be a lot more uh, material presenting itself. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Listen, like what have like I was watching everything on TV, and then just everything afterwards was just more and more stuff coming out. Like uh, uh, what what they actually had planned, hadn't planned. It's no, it's insane at this point. It, it's so I think there's it, we, we are the example of hypocrisy and 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 racist racism and and that's what I think is at the the root of all of it yeah it's disgusting Dan I'm gonna say this I'm gonna get on my it was disgusting to sit at home all summer and not be able to go out and peacefully protest and sit and watch my friends get fucking arrested for not doing uh, uh, like one thing right or wrong. Uh, my friends got beat up by cops. I, I watched all kinds of crazy shit happen. I, and that, that's just on a personal level, not only what I saw cops do for the last, I don't even know how many years to people that didn't look like the people. Ugh. Oh yeah. And, and, and this, All right, that's it. I'm gonna get angry. Um, I, I am. I'm. I, I'm. I laugh a lot because because I'm full of rage <laughs> because I know I have to find something to laugh at because I I am. I'm. The funniest people are angry deep down. I mean, that's yes. true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I I am gonna tell. I'm gonna make a prediction next Sunday. I am going to tell my Chris Rock. Jerry Seinfeld story. So stay tuned. It's going to happen. Ooh, I'm going to hold you to that. You please do. Cause I I've worked it out. I've worked it out. Okay, good. All right. With that, we'll leave you and uh, I'm going to enjoy the shit show here and you enjoy yours where you are. Thank you. <laughs> I will. All right. Bye.